Hi everybody, my name is Yvonne. Welcome to Play and Pray. Today, we're going to be learning about care of creation. But first, let's have some fun. It's time for our riddle. What travels around the world, but stays in one space the whole time? Answer is... A stamp! <laughs> that reminds me, I'm meant to be writing a letter to my friend. But first, we're going to listen to my friend Tomas who has an important message for us. Thanks Yvonne. Hello everyone. My name is Tomas and today I'm going to talk about how we can care for creation. What is this creation I'm talking about? Well, it's the planet. It's God's planet. It's God's creation. Just take a moment, maybe, wherever you are now, and look out the window. What do you see? That's creation. If you're in Kerry, you're surrounded by mountains. You'll see lots of mountains. You may see rivers or lakes if you live near a river or a lake. You may live near the sea. You'll see the birds, you'll see animals. If you live on a farm, you'll see lambs and sheep. We're surrounded by this creation. So what can we do to care for this fantastic creation or planet that God has gifted to us? What can we do at home? What can we do at school? What can we do in our communities? There's an awful lot we can do. You may hear people on the news or maybe your teachers say, reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce the amount of plastic. Reuse anything you have. Maybe clothes, plastic books. Recycle. Put plastic where plastic should go. Put cardboard where cardboard should go. Just recycle and become more aware of recycling. Maybe you could join your local Tidy Towns group and help with maybe litter picking. Maybe you could set up your own vegetable garden and grow your own vegetables. The list is endless as to what you can do to care for creation. In the first page of the Bible, we read how God created the heavens and the earth. He created the land and the seas, but he said to us, he said, care for creation. Look after this planet. So it's very important that we care for this great gift that God has given us, that we care for creation. Thanks, Tomas. Now let's take a moment and quietly spend some time with Jesus in prayer. Jesus, we thank you for bees and thanks for each flower. We thank you for trees, not forgetting the wind's power. We thank you for mountains and thanks for each river. Thanks for all the animals, even those that make us quiver. This beautiful world, God, you have given to us. Let us remember this world is for all of us. Amen. Why don't you? Well, the first thing you could do is you could walk outside for one minute and then stop, close your eyes and listen. What do you hear? Give thanks to God for all the sounds you hear. Or you could stand at your front door and see what you see and count all the different aspects of nature you can see, like birds or trees or flowers, whatever you see. But it's 
third thing you could do is you could draw a picture of your favourite animal or bird or fish. And then you could write your own prayer, saying to God what it is you like about this animal or bird or fish. Enjoy! After listening to Tomas and spending some quiet time in prayer, I think it's time for some fun with the laughing clock. That stick figure looked really alive. <laughs> well, that's it for today. I hope you had some fun and that you'll join me again tomorrow for Play and Pray. Bye!